This is Angie Travis Roberts with Keller Williams Realty. Thanks so much for tuning into our video blog again today. And we're going to be answering a question from a client about seller closing cost. If you are concerned about the value of your property and would like more information on that, all you need to do is click the free home evaluation button. We're glad to answer other questions that you may have as well, so always feel free to get in touch with us about questions. Today, this um, letter comes from Susan. I would like to know what the closing cost amount is based on and also what percentage of the sale goes to the seller. Susan, that's a great question. There isn't a specific percentage formula for what a seller net nets on the sale of their property. In North Carolina, you're going to be paying as a seller for a deed and lien waiver preparation. That's done by your attorney. Then you pay revenue stamps to the state of North Carolina, which is based on a formula of $2 per thousand of value. Of course, your real estate commission is going to be deducted. Your prorated share of the real estate taxes for the year in which you are selling your property. And, of course, any kind of mortgage that you have, equity line, second line of credit, whatever it may be that's tied to your real estate will also be paid off. Now, those are the basic costs that sellers are going to have. It's possible you may be paying for a home warranty. Perhaps you've got bills for work done that's collected at the time of closing, or maybe even paying some of the buyer's closing costs. When you have questions about real estate and you need the truth about real estate, you need to call Angie Travis Roberts. You can always reach me at 704-87-ANGIE. 704-872-6443. Shoot me an email if you have questions as well at Angie at TeamATR.com. Tune in next week as we talk about buyer closing costs.